Hi, my little learners. I hope you guys had a great day. Today, we're going to be inquirers and talk about what is adaptation and habitats. So first, what is adaptation? Adaptation is a process that helps organisms or living things help them adjust in the environment around them to be able to survive. So how can little things part of their body or their behavior that helps them survive in the environment that's around them? So for example, if they're living in the cold or in the hot or anything like that. So for example, we have a polar bear. Now a polar bear's adaptation would be, for example, its fur, how does it help it survive in the cold, or its thick fat and it helps it stay warm, its large paws where it's able to walk on snow, and we're gonna talk more examples about different kind of animals. So for example, we also have a snake, why it has sharp teeth, why does the camel have a hump on its back, how can, for example, a mouse or a squirrel or anything can camouflage with uh, the environment around it or its habitat and other insects where they can camouflage. Now, we're also gonna talk about plants as well. How does it adapt to its habitat or environment? So for example, its cactus, how the thorns help it protect it so other animals can't eat from the cactus, or for example, the mystic tree, it has very large roots where they can absorb the water deep, deep, deep in the soil. So other examples as well is, for example, the Arctic flower, how it can survive the cold in the Arctic area. So we're gonna talk about animals and we're gonna talk about plants as well. Now, what is an environment? An environment is where plants and animals come together and they work together to be able to survive in that area. So for example, in this picture, we see how there's trees around, we have a bear with a pond, and there's fishes as well, and there's birds flying. So this is called an environment. We also want to talk about what is a habitat. A habitat is another way of saying, for example, where plants, uh, where animals or plants, it's home. So for example, it's home could be the ocean, the forest, the, the grassland, or it could be the desert as well. So we're going to talk about all these different types of habitats as well. For example, we have this frog. This frog's habitat, it could be the pond that it lives in, or it can see this leaf pond where it's sometimes on the leaf and sometimes it's in the pond. So it has both, both habitats as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I cannot wait to start this week with you guys. Have a great day.